To install the scooter pack canopy, first unpack the contents. Inside you will find the user guide, waterproof bag, which includes the canopy cover and doors, and the aluminium frame. The installation kit is located within the frame. This kit includes the spigot, featuring two M8 hand wheels and one M6 ratchet handle. Also included is the manufacturer toolkit, which includes extra parts required when fitting the canopy to certain scooters. Finally, you will find a pair of toolless arm brackets. The bolted arm brackets are already fixed to the canopy frame. The best choice of which type to use will be dependent on the scooter. Located within the installation kit, you will find two Velcro square pads, one M10 bolt, three M8 bolts and one M8 nylock nut. Included in the manufacturer's toolkit are two M8 bolts, two strengthening plates to be used with Kimco scooters and one spigot securing bracket. You are now ready to mount the spigot. First, remove the M6 ratchet handle. Next, insert the spigot into the accessory port underneath the back of the scooter, as far as it will go in. Before inserting the spigot, ensure the holes on the spigot match up to the holes on the accessory port. Choose to insert either an M8 or M10 bolt through the accessory port and into the spigot. This will be dependent on the scooter, then secure with a socket wrench. On the face of the spigot, equally loosen off the two M8 hand wheels with six full turns. Ensure that both washers are spaced away from the face of the spigot. Then turn the arm supports out so that they're pointing away towards the sides. Next, slide the main frame onto the spigot in between the washers and the face of the spigot's plate. Tighten the two M8 hand wheels against the canopy frame. The frame is now secure. Also, please check to ensure both armrests are fully secured. Using a 4mm Allen key, on both sides of the canopy frame, slightly loosen the brackets that holds the arm supports in place. If the bolted arm brackets do not fit securely around the armrests, use the toolless arm brackets. Here is an alternative way to fix the bolted brackets. And here are two scenarios where the toolless arm brackets would be a better fit. Further information is available in the user guide. To ensure an effortless fit, and depending on the setup of the scooter's armrests, it may be beneficial to alternate the left and right arm supports. Next, line up the canopy's arm supports with the arms on the seat, ensuring the bracket is aligned with the bolt securing the armrest on the seat. Remove the nuts and bolts on the scooter armrests. Replace these with M8 bolts, ensuring that they pass through the hole. Secure the bracket onto the end of the bolt, then tighten the nuts on the M8 bolts. Please do not over tighten the nuts to ensure the armrests can still be raised and lowered. Applying pressure both from behind the frame and to the front of the armrests ensure the canopy is as close to the seat as possible. Then tighten the quick release clamps. Using the 4mm Allen key, tighten the brackets holding the arm supports in place. You are now ready to unfold the canopy frame. To further secure the frame, insert the M6 ratchet handle into the spigot. Use the lever as a spanner to help you secure the bolt as tightly as possible. Push the lever round to tighten and then pull out, rotate, repeat until the bolt is fully secure. Ensure both M8 hand wheels on the spigot are fully tightened. Unfold the front windscreen and then carefully peel the protective film by starting from one of the top corners 
working diagonally towards the bottom and then around the inside. Please do not remove this foam support. This is an integral feature. Next, remove the main canopy cover and side doors from the bag. Next, unfold the canopy cover. Working from the back of the scooter towards the front, lay the main canopy cover over the frame, ensuring the scooter pack logo is at the rear of the scooter, behind the seat and fits squarely. Moving to the front of the scooter, Secure the canopy cover to the windscreen. Attach the Velcro located on the sides. To ensure a perfect fit, ensure the frame's bolts are placed against the area where the Velcro is not present on the cover. Then work your way around, securing the other side, then the top, and finally the bottom of the windscreen. To secure the roof of the canopy cover to the frame, fix the Velcro loop around the front hinges. Repeat the process for the rear hinges. Moving to the back, secure the Velcro loops around the canopy's rear support frame. Secure the rear windscreen of the cover to the frame by using the Velcro straps on the canopy and attaching these to the frame's support bars. Repeat on the other side. On both sides, it is essential to secure one set of straps to the top of the circular bracket near the frame's hinge. Fasten the rest of the available straps on the frame. Gather the side doors ready for fitting. Ensure the zip pull on the main canopy cover is at the rear of the scooter. Next, line up the rear of the side door with the zip pull, attach and zip to fully attach the door to the canopy. If the canopy is touching the front wheels, you'll need to loosen the quick release clamps. Then pull the canopy frame away from the back of the seat until the canopy clears the front wheels. Retighten the quick release clamps. Wrap the Velcro strap around the bumper and secure it back on itself. To provide a clean fit and finish, it's important to trim off any excess strap. However, please do not fully trim the strap. A section of this Velcro is used when folding up the canopy. If a bumper is not present, please use the two self-adhesive Velcro square patches. These can be adhered to both sides of the front shroud in line with the Velcro square patches stitched to the main canopy cover. And that's it. The Scooter Pack Canopy is ready and you're now on your way to complete mobility freedom.